The evolution of the virus that causes COVID-19 has been monitored and studied since the beginning of the pandemic. Viruses constantly change and become more diverse through mutation. Until the beginning of July 2021, the most common form of the virus that causes COVID-19 in the United States was the Alpha variant. Now, the Delta variant makes up more than half of all COVID cases in the U.S. The COVID-19 virus is a protein shell filled with genetic material that makes copies of itself inside the cells of a human. It undergoes genetic changes when it replicates itself and eventually makes random errors. Those mistakes are called mutations. They slightly change the instructions for making the virus. Mutations are often minor, and some can even make the virus less infectious. But sometimes, a series of mutations can make the virus more transmissible. That's what scientists have found with the Delta variant. This variant also evades some of the body's immune system defenses. The World Health Organization says the highly contagious Delta variant is the fastest and fittest coronavirus strain. Dr. Stephen Thomas, director of the Upstate Global Health Institute at Upstate Medical University, says it looks like it's at least 60% more infectious than the original strain that came out of China. Data from the field shows that the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines do offer protection against the Delta variant when you have the full two doses. On July 1st, 2021, Johnson & Johnson announced data that demonstrated its single-shot COVID-19 vaccine generated a strong response against the Delta variant and others. Pfizer plans to seek authorization from the Food and Drug Administration for a third dose of their COVID vaccine, saying it would provide even stronger protection. They also announced that they had developed an updated version of their COVID-19 vaccine that would specifically target the Delta variant. Clinical trials are planned for August. But on July 8th, the CDC and the FDA released a joint statement on vaccine boosters. Americans who have been fully vaccinated do not need a booster shot at this time. On July 12th, a group of government doctors, including Dr. Anthony S. Fauci, President Biden's chief medical advisor for the pandemic, met with Pfizer representatives about booster vaccines. All of the experts agreed that so far, there is insufficient evidence that boosters are necessary.